Hi, I'm Oliver and you're watching Guitars in Gear. Today I'd like to show you my new Maybach Telemann T54. It's based very obviously on a Fender Telecaster from the year 54. So uh, you have all the goodies from the past with the modern technology. But let's talk a little bit about my personal history with Telecasters because the history is very short because I never liked Telecasters at all. Uh, it was like this status quo guitar and I hated status quo back then. I still do. Hate is a strong verb, but I, you know, I just don't give a damn about it. Anyway, uh, it never attracted me as a guitar. I, I didn't think it was sexy or appealing to me, not at all. It was just like a, a piece of wood, flat wood. Time goes on, I'm getting older, even I getting older, and some weird thing happened in my life. Uh, first of all, I started to like Keith Richards, which is special because I never liked the Stones. Now I just learned to love Keith Richards. I'm not sure if he loves me, but I, I really love him and his guitar playing, and Keith Richards is Telecaster. So my interest was like, hmm, maybe I should check out a telly. So uh, I went for a Squire Affinity Telecaster. It's just a $200 guitar. And first of all, I was really surprised how much guitar you can get for $200. It's, it's incredible. When I was young, because I was young, really I was young, you had to pay at least maybe eight hundred to thousand dollars to get a, a decent guitar. So, to make a long story short, uh, I bought this Squire. Uh, I brought it to my guitar tech, and he made a perfect setup and a fret job, everything, and it played wonderful and it sounded quite good. Uh, when you think. Uh, how much probably the pickup cost in this Squire Telecaster, a couple of dollars, it sounded nice and the playability was really cool. So I was tempted and then Borosus, my old friend who gives me all the beautiful Duesenbergs, he told me about my buck guitars. And first of all, I was quite skeptical because it was a telly again and and it was relic so I'm not a big fan of relic guitar and H guitars but I have to say that my buck has a really good taste when it comes to aging guitars it's not they don't look like a tank just rolled over him or it just a monster truck was jumping up and down on the guitar it's tasty it's nice and subtle so as you can see in the back the finish is still on we don't see like naked wood except for the maple neck and the maple fretboard so I think they really managed to make a relic guitar not look cheesy and believable so well done my buck uh, some more specs beside that I lose the strap we have uh, the Goto SDS 501 tuners there aren't locking tuners because in 1954 kids listen well they weren't any locking tuners at all and you had to tune your guitar maybe a little bit more often but they do a perfect job they're beautiful they look authentic they fit perfectly to the guitar you have a very nicely uh, built neck, the frets, the fret chips perfect. What you can expect actually from a custom shop guitar, just right out of the box. The playability and the action was just perfect. You know, it was like taking an old friend out of the case and jamming along. That's it. Uh, so 
the action is quite low. It's not super, super low because it's not a really a shredder guitar. It does chant in a certain way, but it's, you know what I mean. It's a, it's a rock and blues guitar. And the action is perfect for me. We have these uh, Amber Twang Tone pickups and they sound fantastic. You will hear it later. Um, it's just, they have such a twang. That's why they call it twang. Um, and they really cut through the mix. It's just amazing. When I checked the, this guitar out for the first time, I used a Supra amp and I was just like, Ooh, what the hell? It sounded amazing. It cut through the mix. Uh, it's just a beautiful guitar. What else? We have this butterscotch nitro finish, which I think it's really tasty. And the body is made of sugar pine, uh, whatever that is, it's quite light. This guitar is a little bit more than three kilos. And what else? Did I forget something? Nope. That's it. And the price is about, it depends where you buy it, uh, $1,800 to $1,900 case is included so for that amount of money you'll get a lot of guitar and a lot of great guitar so there's one little thing that bothers me just a little tiny bit and but it's it's a historical thing so I can't complain actually the 54s the truss rod couldn't be reached just that easy because you don't have access here to the truss rod and you don't have it here so you have to take off the plate and then you can adjust the truss rod right here so that's the only thing that is not super duper but it's history so no complaints right here yeah what else we have to string through of course like the old ones did. We have like some tellies, they have the strings just from the back of the bridge and this one is through the body. Yeah, plays great, looks amazing, it's my opinion. You have that little bit of Keith Richard wipe in your house. So uh, check it out. If you have the chance, go to your local store, ask for my buck and if they have one, you're lucky. But now the question is, how does it sound?
Thank you for watching guys and don't forget to like my video, subscribe to my channel and hit the alarm bell or hit your doorbell, whatever. See you soon. Bye bye.